speaker today will be speaking a non, giving a non-manual speech. He stepped into this position late last night. He believes that Toastmasters are heroes, and he's one of our heroes today. But with little effort, effort they be, can become creative superheroes. David, Hero, David LaCours will be telling us how to become a creative superhero. David LaCours. One of my favorite movies is the Pixar animated film, The Incredibles. Anybody seen it? Yeah, as you know, it's the story of a family of superheroes. And this family has a superhero friend named Frozone. Frozone's superpower, he can instantly turn things into ice. So one day Frozone is chilling out in his high-rise condominium. He's reading the Toastmaster magazine on his iPad mini. He decides to take a break. He goes over to a large plate glass window, seven stories up in his high-rise condominium, and he looks down below. A woman's being robbed. His first reaction is to look for his super suit, but it's not there. He says to his wife, hey, honey, you see my super suit? <laughs> what? Have you seen my super suit? Why? I need it. Oh, no. You're not going out there doing your dare and do. We've been planning this dinner for two months. But honey, the public is in danger. My evening is in danger. <laughs> Woman, we are talking about the greater good. The greater good? I am your wife. I am the greatest good that you are ever going to get. <laughs> Just then, Frozone remembers that the iPad has been uh, complained about for its highly reflective glass surface. He goes back to the window, he holds up the iPad mini, the sun comes in, bounces off the iPad mini, down to a parked car below, bounces off the rear view mirror, gets almost concentrated into a laser-like beam that hits the assailant, the would-be robber in the eyes, he freaks out, and the woman still has her Louis Vuitton handbag. <laughs> now, Frozone's wife thinks she's his greatest good, but she's not. His greatest good is within. And your greatest good to create is also within. Frozone didn't need his super suit. He didn't need superpowers. He just needed to be super creative to come up with this idea. So everyday humans, people like me, people like you, can transform themselves into creative superheroes. We were all born creative. We can all be creative. The key is to tap into this creativity within. It's simply our nature. Now, as creative beings, it's a learned process. But sometimes if we don't use this process, it becomes latent. So creativity is sort of like a muscle. Either you use it or you lose it. And I want to share with you a six-step process that will help you boost your creative output, both in terms of quantity and in terms of quality. That's those six steps are to investigate, to create, to incubate, evaluate, deliver, and measure. Step one, investigate. And I like to think of this as the Clark Kent phase because Clark Kent was an investigative reporter. Your job in this phase is to do the research. Talk to the audience that you're trying to reach and understand what their needs are. I think that we've been given two ears and one mouth because we're supposed to listen twice as much as we're supposed to speak. If you fully understand the problem, the solution will start to present itself. Step two is to create. And I like to think of this as the Superman phase because in the Superman phase, this is when our ideas start to take flight. Now, I have some rules for flight. The first one is don't fall in love with your first idea. Because your first idea is probably everybody's first idea and may not be the best solution. To that end, the go for quantity in this phase over quality. The best way to come up with a great idea is to come up with a lot of ideas. So don't edit. Just let your ideas flow unabashedly and see what comes up. Finally, I recommend not multitasking. According to neuroscientists, multitasking is just task shifting, and you're not really getting into the flow, getting into the zone to let ideas really flow in their natural state. Step three, incubate. 
And I like to think of this as the Bruce Wayne phase. Bruce Wayne, of course, is the alter ego to Batman. And Bruce Wayne was kind of known as a, a man about town. He liked to have a good time. He would let Gotham's problems sit while he would go out and have a good time. And there's something about letting your ideas incubate that when you come back to them, you see them in a fresh, new perspective. One of the great ways to do this is to nap. Einstein, Edison, and Da Vinci were all power nappers, which means like a 20 to 30 minute nap. More than that, it tends to make you wake up and be a bit groggy. How many of you come up with your best ideas in the shower? Or maybe on a walk, or maybe you're driving, you arrive at your destination, you don't even know how you've gotten there? This is your subconscious working. And when you let your subconscious work on problems during this incubation phase, it can be really powerful. Step four is to evaluate. And I call this the Lois Lane phase, because Lois Lane had this ability as an objective observer of Superman and Clark Kent to give him feedback on what was working and what isn't working. So you need a, bat or a Robin to your Batman, a Lois Lane to your Superman. Because, like I said before, your job in the first phase is to come up with a lot of ideas. In this phase, you evaluate and refine that those many down to a particular few. It's almost impossible for us to kill off our own creative offspring. So you need somebody like Lois Lane to help you objectively refine the many down to the few. Step five, which is to deliver. Now when you deliver, you want to deliver with enthusiasm and you want to deliver in person. In today's world, it's so easy to just send somebody an email of your ideas, but when we do that, we sort of hide behind the technology because we don't want to face the potential rejection of sharing our ideas. But when you're in front of somebody and you're sharing your enthusiasm, it's infectious. People get how excited you are and they're going to get excited. And creativity by definition is something that's new and something that's useful. And things that are new are scary to us. I mean, it's simply evolution. We like best what we know most because it makes us feel safe. So when you're presenting things that are new, you've got to uh, present them with conviction and with excitement so people can pick up on that. And step six is to measure. After the end, after the, the first five phases and you've delivered whatever creative thing it is, you want to measure how effective that particular thing was. The Japanese have a word for this. In fact, maybe they have a superhero named Kaizen, whose job is to make sure things continually improve. So those six steps will help you boost your creative output, both in terms of quantity and in terms of quality. And what I hope is that you will now create with the strength of a locomotive. Your ideas will leap tall buildings in a single bound, and that you will use these powers for good. Please write your comments to David.